In Fox and Focus tonight, a Houston woman living with AIDS is sitting down tonight to share her very personal story. She is the new face of a national initiative aimed at helping people who were living with HIV and AIDS. When I talk, I don't talk as if I want sympathy. I talk as if my story has empowered me. It hasn't always been easy for Keisha Johnson to share her very personal story. The 32 year old Houston native is living with AIDS. I was diagnosed out the gate at near death with two T cells with full blown AIDS. Um, so for me, <laughs> I don't think anyone understands what it is to be told at near death and you can't even really speak that you have AIDS. Johnson, a talent executive, says she contracted the disease through sexual contact with someone in the music industry. By the time she was diagnosed 10 years ago, doctors didn't think she'd have long to live, but Johnson says she knew otherwise. I just refused to take that being my end. Like, it's not going to happen this way. Johnson today, much healthier and self-assured, is now the new face of a national Walgreens initiative. Anything below 200 is an automatic AIDS diagnosis. Let's Grow Old Together features Johnson and several other people living with HIV or AIDS. Their faces and stories will be featured on billboards, social media, and in Walgreens stores, with information on things like sharing your status, and starting treatment. Oh, Let's Grow Old Together is about showing someone who's newly diagnosed how to literally, literally go through the process and grow old, live in confidence, and do it being empowered around those who love you. Johnson admits each day is a struggle. She's on strict medication and is often weak. I nursed myself back to health. I was on my meds. But she says she finds strength in talking publicly about her diagnosis, knowing her story can comfort and even but save someone. And Keisha Johnson will be hosting an event here in Houston on March 18th. It's called Mary University to promote overall self-love with the goal of people loving more of themselves. I'll post more information on my Facebook page tonight.